Hey everybody, I am here at the Barnes & Noble for the world's largest author book signing. And I'm so excited because I am here with Sonia Jones. Hi everybody. Hey, she was one of the finalists from season 16 of The Biggest Loser on yep. NBC. And she was one of my clients when I was at iTickets too, which is really fun. So we just yep. met today in person for the, for the first, first time. time. <laughs> so gosh, tell us, you just got a brand new book that's not even yeah. available to the whole public. Right. We can get them here. That's right. Friday, November 2nd is when it goes live. You can get it here at this Barnes & Noble. Um, it's called 44 Lessons from a Loser, Navigating Life with Laughter, Prayer, and the Occasional Throat Punch. Because everybody needs to laugh, everybody needs to pray, and there are probably people in your life that could benefit from the occasional throat punch. Um, so. It's really just a book that is motivational, it's inspirational. So many things for me on the ranch, I, I wanna pay it forward, you know? It was one of the best, one of the absolute best um, experiences of my life. I tell people all the, all the time I'd leave today and I'd go do it all over again. So um, not everyone can go to the ranch, and so what I wanna do is be able to pay forward those lessons to the people who wanna hear it. Absolutely. So you had so much fun on The Biggest Loser. Yeah. And you lost how much when you were there? I lost 144 pounds, keeping about 100 off right now. So we did the math between what I lost and she lost. Between us, we've lost 281 pounds. That's crazy. I mean, that's like it's an overweight amazing. person that we lost right there. Okay, so like, seriously, wow. 281 pounds. My starting weight on The Biggest Loser was 283. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, so, I lost you before. Right. Lost... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, it's so fun. So you live in Illinois now. What yep. do you do? And you write books now, but what else do you do in life? I am an outreach representative for HSHS Medical Group, and I love it. I was a teacher and a coach for so many years. Um, I never thought I would leave. I have two master's degrees in education, and I never thought I would leave. And then, uh, you know, when I got home from the show, it kind of started to blow up, and everyone was like, hey, work here, endorse this, work there. I'm like, nothing felt right until HSHS Medical Group approached me. And now what I get to do is I get to promote health and wellness in our communities. So they've hired me to uh, just go out and do a lot of public speaking. I'm in charge of special events. It is a dream come true. That. There's actually a chapter in the book about my transition from teaching to HSHS Medical Group. That's cool. Yeah. And so what do you do for fun? I hang out with my friends. I'm an, I'm actively involved in my church. I sing in the choir and the orchestra. Um, I just really love You're to be orchestra? around people. Yeah. What do you play? Alto sax. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was like oboe woman. Oboe. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, that I can't do a double read. I can't. Me anymore. Yeah. No. 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 Reads in general. Yeah. So anyway, I you know I like to I love to play softball. You know, I was a semi-professional athlete, and so um, when I can, I, I like to do that. Haven't done it much less than the last summer, but I've uh, been a little busy. But I, little lo I love to travel. I love to hang out with my friends and my family. It's just life's good, man. Life's good. Where's your favorite place you've gone? Ooh, favorite place I've gone. Well, my mom's from Okinawa, so I've taken her there three times. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Hawaii. I'm a big fan of Cancun, and I love Los Angeles because that's that's kind of home, you know. Uh, the, the ranch is in LA. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know where that was located. There. It's in Calabasas. It's actually uh, northeast of LA. So gorgeous. So, so you were at the ranch, so you had to change a lot of the way you ate. Yeah. So what kind of things are keeping you now to help you keep that hundred pounds off? What kind of things are okay. you doing? Okay. So for me, I'm a binge eater. I I actually didn't even recognize that I suffer from binge eating disorder. So what I do now is everything is all about the, the kitchen. Do I work out? Yes, I like to go for jogs. Um, however, for me, it's all about eating healthy. So I eat a lot of one ingredient foods, not like one word foods, like I don't just go eat Snickers or Slurpees um, or Pepsis. Like I have one ingredient, like salmon, um, beef, you know, squash, whatever, you know, apples, bananas, so a lot of, not necessarily organic, but I eat a lot of one ingredient foods, but I have to manage my portions and I have to watch my, my calories. For me, that works. You know, I try to avoid sugars. Um, that's hard, that's hard, but it, that's kind of where it's at. It's challenging. It, it is, like, oh, it man. is, and like I said, for me, the magic is, is in the kitchen. Um, and the biggest part of my journey once getting home is recognizing that it's not just about the food. Like, I know what I would eat, but it's about why I eat, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I had to, I went through counseling um, to recognize that I'm an emotional eater. I didn't even realize that that was a thing. Um, why is it every time I get mad, I get angry, I get bored, I get sad, you know, I feel lonely. 
why do I go through a drive through You know, I had to be willing to peel back those layers, and that was the hardest part. It does. When we realize, gosh, it's become an idol, and yeah. taking God's place in our hearts, right. it's like, oh, man, right. that's not what I want to be. Right, right. That's good. Well, you're yeah. inspiring so many people Thank you, you have, and I can't wait to see you guys. 44 Lessons from a Loser. Yeah. You can order it on her website. Is it just Sonia Jones? It's SoniaJones44.com. Yep, pre-order it or order it. I'll, you know, if you order it on my website, I'll autograph it and I'll send it to you. How can you beat that? So soon she's got an author page on um, Facebook as well. Yep. And it's kind of fun. Why 44? Okay. 44 was my number from way early on. Like it started in junior high and went all the way through semi-professional softball. Um, and I became obsessed with it. Like I'll get up at 644. Um, if I can't get up at 644, I'll half it. And I get up at 622. If I can't get up at 22, it ends on the four. I've seen my favorite movie 44 times. I won't see the 45th because that would just be wrong in my world. It is ridiculous. Like I get so many texts throughout the day with a screenshot that says 444 praying for you. You know, it's just, uh, it's awesome. So uh, 44 is where it's at. It's the best number in the world. I, I'm pretty sure that God meant to put it in the Bible. And what is tomorrow? Why is that a special day? Tomorrow's my 44th birthday. Woo! So yeah, I get to turn, I, I get to turn, I hopefully, <laughs> if I make it, uh, I turn 44 tomorrow and the big deal was for me to be able to launch this book on my 44th birthday and so we're here at the Author Academy Elite Igniting Souls um, conference and I'm super excited about that. I am too. So you guys check it out. Yeah. I can't wait. I didn't pre-order it because I want to buy it from person from her and I can't wait to get this and read it too. Awesome. And love you guys. See ya. Thanks. Us.